Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a good old fashioned get ready with me. I've not filmed one of these in a while and I wanted to just talk to you guys, see how you're doing, give you some life updates with me, a little about me, and hang out and put on some makeup. I am using today the Smoky Glow Palette by Midas Cosmetics. It's going to be my first impressions. Um, but that is it. I hope you guys enjoy and we're going to go ahead and get on into it now. Before we get too far into the video, please consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. We'd love to have you join the channel on a more permanent basis and uh, talk to us in the comments. Alright, so I'm not going to tell you the name of all of the products guys today. Um, what I'm just going to do is leave in the description box below a link to the products I'm using and a list in case you're interested in knowing what I'm using or um, if you want to purchase or try anything I'm using today. That way I can just kind of focus on us hanging out, focus on getting ready. If that's not your favorite, definitely let me know in the comments. I can definitely switch up the format of how I do that if you guys prefer it when I actually list a name and hold up the products for you as I'm doing that. I definitely can do that too. I just thought I would try something different this time. The only exception to that is of course going to be the Midas Cosmetics palette since that is kind of like the featured item of this video so to speak. So if you are new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really pride myself on trying to be as interactive as possible with you guys. So that means if you guys are commenting, asking questions, making requests for videos, I always do everything I can to honor those requests, give you guys what you want to see, always comment back. And that's just what I really like to see in someone I subscribe to. So. Um, I try to do that as well on my channel. I just think that makes it a lot more fun if it's like not just you're watching videos but like you kind of can have that conversation back and forth in the comments. Um, and the reason I bring that up is because that's kind of what like inspired me to make this particular video. Um, I wasn't really planning on buying the palette that I'm using in today's video at all, but here's kind of the uh, series of events that transpired. Stick with me here. So I was watching a video on Vinyl Beauty's channel. If you guys don't know Vinyl Beauty, um, I will link her channel below. She is lovely. I've had a couple really nice conversations with her, both in comments of her YouTube videos and just DMs too. And she made a video about ColourPop shadows. And she was asking people watching what were their favorites in their collections. So I had commented and told her I really liked the yellow monochromatic palette from ColourPop. The, I think it's called Aha uh -huh Honey. And she commented back and said, oh, something about, I think she said she didn't have any yellows in her collection, but if she were going to, she would be much more likely to buy from Midas Cosmetics, their lemonade palette. And so I thought, oh, I don't, I'm not really familiar with that palette or brand per se. So I went online and looked and was like, oh, that palette does look really similar, really good. And I was surprised to see it was under $20 since we were talking about ColourPop shadows and the prices and things like that. But I ended up not buying that, you know, because I was the one that said I already had the monochromatic yellow palette, you know, um, with the uh -huh Honey palette. But of course, as these things happen, even though I didn't buy the lemonade palette, then I was on the Midas Cosmetics site already, right? Looking this up, checking it out. And while I was on there, it reminded me like, oh, hey, Smoky Glow has this palette through Midas Cosmetics. That's where I've heard from this brand or where I've heard of this brand. And so one thing led to another and there were some very, very nice duochrome looking shades in 
the Smoky Glow palette that I was like, ooh, you know, I'm hopping on this duochrome shadow trend that's going around right now. I kind of want that. So I ended up putting it in my cart um, and one thing led to another. I ended up having the uh, Flower Bomb palette, I think it's called, from Midas Cosmetics and Smoky Glow. Bought them both, used Trend Mood code to get some coin off. And so, yeah, that's what I'm using today. That's why I bought it. So I hope that I can help you through this channel find some good buys and things. I'm going to use it. I'm sure it's going to be good quality. But if not, I will definitely let you know. And I know that's a long kind of winded story up front. But the rest of this video, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little life update about me type thing. Just because I think... I do have some uh, new subscribers, like I said, and even if you've subscribed for a while, I've never really done a video where I've talked that much about me, myself, and I, and you kind of stick to talking about the makeup, so I thought it might be kind of fun to share a little on me, and again, if you guys don't like that, no problem, I'll just, you know, adjust for future content. I do not have a fancy YouTube names, and what I mean by that is my name of my channel is my name, so... My name is Caitlin, and I am 29, and I live in the United States in Ohio. I am not someone who does makeup professionally. I don't really even do makeup on other people. I just really love makeup and using it personally and love to talk about it and follow trends and other YouTubers. But what I actually do for my full-time living, so to speak, is uh, teach. So I teach grades 5 through 12 choir in the public schools here. And this year is my eighth year. I had to think about that for a minute teaching. Uh, I went to university, graduated, got a job, and started teaching right away after college. So this year has been full of a lot of differences. I mean, the whole world is on its head with this virus and everything. And no matter what your thoughts are about it, I mean, it has changed things for everyone, I guess is my point, whether we like it or not. A lot of my life in the recent days, weeks, months, whatever you want to call it, has been just adjusting in life and dealing in my job with all of the changes that has brought. Which I'm not gonna lie has been stressful and not fun, but we are making it work. My school right now is going in person 100% of the time and we are face to face every day with the kids, which is a good thing I think, but we are also constantly living on the edge of for how long? So we don't know how long we'll be there face to face, maybe the whole year. We might have to go hybrid, you know, part in time, part online. We might have to go totally virtual. We really just don't know. And as someone who likes to be a planner, have a plan, have an idea of what's happening, that has been really a challenge for me. But we are all just pushing on forward, doing the best we can. I'm sure you are in your lives as well with whatever your occupations and situations are. But I just try to think, you know, taking all the precautions as I can. And just like everybody else, I have to work and make money and pay bills. So it is what it is. Other than that, um, if you don't know, I own a house and live with my boyfriend Wesley and we have two cats and everything at home has been really great lately like I would say my home life is probably the best it's ever been honestly I mean I'm not saying like bad home life growing up don't get me wrong but just like being on your own at first everybody has to learn things but right now I'm thriving in home life so I'm trying to focus on that and all the good things with that and yeah I just finished to my master's degree in music education so that's really good that was stressful too glad that's over and I'm just ready to 
whew, I don't know, try to relax a little bit. Like I said, work's still just a constant stressor, but that's how everybody is right now with things being up in the air in the world, so it's not anything special. Um, I'm looking forward to doing some house projects soon, hopefully. Uh, the house that Wes and I got is a little bit of an older house, so it's perfectly fine, but decor, it needs a little update in sprucing, so um, I bought a really nice cream colored rug yesterday for my bedroom, and it just made me feel like Laura Lee, you know, home decor extraordinaire, so I really like that. It elevated the look of the room, just who knew a rug, a simple rug, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So here's the main event here, the one thing I am talking about, the Smoky Glow Palette here from Midas Cosmetics. Ooh, she's gorgeous! Now the reason too I'm using this one today, guys, is that I asked over on Instagram stories what you guys would be interested in seeing. So if you're not already, you can follow me here on Instagram, and I try to keep you guys interactive in helping me with uh, some video selection ideas and content and things like that. So if you're not already, please consider following me over there as well as here if you haven't subscribed yet. So I'm going to start with basic. I know that Hannah designed this so that that would be, you know, the first shade to go in as a base. I watched her reveal video of this palette just to give me a sense of her intentions with it um, and maybe why she laid out certain shades the way she did and I'm glad I did because she said basic was her, you know, all over the lid setting shade. So there you go, basic on the lids. So next I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of Vote in the crease. It's this kind of mid-toned brown. I'd love to know in the comments how all of you are doing. How are you holding up with everything or are you thriving and it's not a matter of holding up? I know there's also been a lot of tension here in the U.S. with the election. <laughs> so uh, hoping that now that that's somewhat over that can be a little bit less of a stressor, but obviously it's not totally over with uh, a concession not having been made yet. I'm gonna use Half Pony down here, the darker brown, to kind of darken up the outer third as well. But yeah, guys, that's where I'm kind of at in life right now and some updates of what I've been up to. Um, now that my master's is done, I'm working on getting the thesis I wrote for it published. So that's kind of a, I don't know if you call crowning achievement or something like that of mine that I'm looking forward to having that done. And I'm just looking forward to the holidays. Now, I know that might look different for everyone. I don't even know that that necessarily means a whole lot of family time. I know some of our family has already decided they're not traveling, they're not visiting, they're not leaving with everything going on. but. Even if it's not family time, at least it's a little bit of a reprieve from work and a break and some relaxation, being home with uh, Wesley and the cats. And I think that'll be really good and nice. And I'm really wanting to get some projects done, like I said, with the house too, started some decor. Hoping to get soon, uh, we've done a lot of the kitchen with uh, new appliances and things like that, but we're working on getting instead of a microwave on the countertop, getting one mounted above our oven to save some space and getting some more like top cabinets in the kitchen. So really excited about that. What are your guys' plans for the holidays? Are you just staying at home? Are you going to try to safely travel and see some family? Um, are you just like hanging out at home? And if you're hanging out with, at home, because I think that's what I'm gonna be doing, what are you doing? I have kind of like some shows that have built up, some books I want to read, some video games I want to play. Those are just some of my hobbies. What are you planning to do? And if you also like video games or books or like shows or movies, leave me some recommendations down below. Um, video game wise, I really like RPGs. I'm going in with Leno across the lid, guys. Now that is this, this purple kind of duochrome shade here in the corner. I've been trying to play through some of my old games and kind of get rid of old inventory, so to speak, stuff I just never finished playing. I don't usually replay through stuff a second time once I've played it once. So I'm trying to beat some of the old games I have to kind of, like I said, clear out some inventory. 
Um, what I'm trying to beat is the Lost Odyssey that was on Xbox 360. I have basically all the consoles, guys. I play PlayStation, I play Xbox. I'm not like a purist of one or the other. So when you're uh, leaving me some game recommendations, you can leave whatever. I think about the only thing I don't have is uh, a Switch. Wes is really into PC gaming. I like console more. But that's just our per personal preferences. This shade is so pretty. Like, worth the entire palette, honestly, for this purple shade. And that purple shade is what really drew me towards it and made me buy it, honestly. I'm gonna go back in with a little boat and half pony just to uh, smoke out to the lower lash line here in the outer third. And then I'm gonna take a tiny little eyeshader brush here and uh, go back with cold brew here. It's a little bit of a taupe shade here, just a matte. Let's go on the inside third here, my lower lash line. And I think, honestly, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, Friends, this lighter pink metallic shade as an inner corner color. So guys, first impressions, I'm honestly really happy I picked up this palette. Like I said, that purple shade alone is gorgeous. And I do think it's very wearable. I don't think it's like too scary, intimidating color. I will definitely be using this many, many more times. But I think that's it, guys. I don't have really anything else update-wise too interesting. Sorry if this was kind of a boring get ready with me. <laughs> um, there's just not that much. Um, I was planning on going with my school on a trip to Florida in January, but that's been postponed. So if it happens, it's going to happen in like late March, early April. But even then, who knows? It could get canceled. I'm supposed to go to Japan in like late June, early July next summer. I really wanted to go to that. I signed up for that trip as honestly kind of a like reward to myself for my completion of my degree. My degree was a summers only program. I did that so that I could keep working while doing it, which was great, but um, because it was summers only, it took a while. Um, so I've only had one summer since I've been out of college that I haven't been in college again. Like I did my first degree, started teaching, took one summer off, taught my second year, and then went started my second degree. Um, so I would really, really love to get to go somewhere for my first official summer off. But if it doesn't happen, I'm sure I'll still enjoy it around the house. Just waiting to see what happens like the rest of the world. And hopefully, if that doesn't pan out, I've talked to Wesley some and we really want to go to uh, a place here in the States that is kind of like a treehouse village. And so you like climb up into the place that you stay and it's just like kind of rustic. I don't want to say camping because it's in a cabin. It's not like a tent with sleeping bags. It has beds, but um, kind of an outdoor excursion type thing. I do really like hiking and being outside when the weather's nice. Um, it's obviously November now, so the weather's going to start getting colder and it's not ideal to do that now. but. We've kind of talked about maybe doing that for about a week next summer. Um, if we can't do, or if I can't do what my plans were. And Wesley enjoys that kind of stuff too. And we felt like that would be something that we could do outdoors. That would be distanced away from people, but still kind of get out and feel like we had a little holiday to ourselves. I'm not gonna do any falsies or anything today. I'm actually getting ready to go out to celebrate Wesley's 28th birthday. It's not until Veterans Day, but um, we are going out on the weekend just because we want to go someplace in particular and it's out of town so we would have more time to travel and relax and not be so hurried going on a weekend when we both have off work as opposed to trying to go on a weeknight when we've just gotten off of our shifts off of work and are like oh we're tired we don't want to do anything but sit around and yet you know we still want to celebrate his birthday somehow so we are going out to eat today. Wesley always has to kind of like a tradition that for his birthday he always wants to go to a hibachi. So we oftentimes don't go to the same one every year, but 
It's always a hibachi and this is Wesley's, let's see, I think fourth birthday I've been with him. We've been together like three and a half years or something like that. So that is what we are doing and uh, I have had one small bowl of cottage cheese all day because let's be honest, I'm just gonna pig out, okay? Like I'm excited, it's almost as much as a present to me as it is to him. So there you have it guys, here is my final look. Thanks for getting ready with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out and seeing a little bit of the Smoky Glow Palette by Midas Cosmetics. Something tells me I'm gonna be ordering more from their brand and I will probably at some point film with the Flower Bomb Palette that I ordered for them as well. If you've made it this far in the video, please click the subscribe button. Obviously you made it this far because you saw something you liked um, and I would really appreciate you subscribing and hopefully you'll come back again and hang out with me another time. I upload new videos every Sunday and I hope to see you back for the next one. Bye guys.